Inside Denny and Anko, chance! The side saves! The blizzard! There he is, Fred. Yes. Ink VT, in case we don't get the shot again, that's a chap I'm going to refer to in the intro called George Scanlon, who might have to be slotted in if he's gone away by the time I get to him. Little Liverpool connection there. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of the USSR. It's 17 years since the Soviet Union. Wilkins took it, and Roberts is coming in now, gets ahead to it. Uh, in Europe at West Ham, a memorable match, 1981. Plenty of runners up front here, and Roberts being tested as Rodionov goes through. And turned in, and a great chance actually for Lita Vachenko, who must surely look back on that and think he should have scored. Rodionov was the man who made it, number 10, but when he And Roberts causing trouble there, and there's a chance for Watson perhaps. Hooked for a two to his right. Nearly the Watford connection of old there. Barnes looking for Blissett. They know each other so well. And that's the sort of service England will expect. They want this. Forward by Wilkins. Francis. John Barnes nice turn and a nice cross and Dasayev commanding Alyenikov who's uh, very much like uh, Alan Sunderland facial yes. Robson Wilkins
died. Lockins made his run across the face of the area. And it may run on to Oganeshian. This it goes up. Sulak Belidza wasn't sure. Here's John Barnes. And John Barnes is still to score for England after eight appearances. And I think the feeling of his club manager, Graham Taylor. And now Chamberlain. Inside Deli Alenko, chance! Desayev saves! And Chibata got there, passed it implicit to the rebound. And that's been... And still John Barnes. And two defenders at first. And off goes Zygmantovic, heavily bandaged. And he'll be replaced by defender is Baltacha. And still Blissett. <laughs> Sir Oganeshin, and there's runners here, blocking. Rodionov is waiting in the centre. And it was pulled back behind him, and fortunately for England, it was able to be cleared by Fennick. Now, and now Chamberlain. Wilkins is in the penalty area. Cops was the foul. <laughs> Nearer to us. But Barnes might find Robson coming into the penalty area. He took it four others up with him. And the referee decides that Chivadza's challenge was fair. Blissett. And Wilkins taking it on again. England's final pass still lacking and the Soviet Union have produced a good one here to Blocking. Robson trying to get back and Blocking drove into the side netting but it just showed even now he's... Oganeshian's pulled away to the far side. It's a good effort and Shilton forced to make a very good save. It was a tidy move by the Soviet Union. Gotsmanov made the run on the left and Oganesian had sensibly pulled back behind the last defender. He saw the possibilities here of turning inside and... That's Rodionov. And he made room brilliantly there, but Shilton was so quick up his line. Could be dangerous if Rodionov gets onto this, and he has. Rodionov is clean through against Shilton. And he's still there, is Rodionov. And Sansom had to make the last challenge on Oganeshian. But the England goalkeeper excels himself again. Three outstanding saves now. And here's Luther Blissett. That's well played by Blissett. Oh, the goalkeeper got a hand to it. And Barnes couldn't reach the rebound. And the referee brings to a close a first half notable for the goalkeeping of Rinat Dasayev at one end in the Soviet goal. And the, but in fairness, that's only what Shilton has done earlier for England on at least three occasions. So the half-time score is England nil, Soviet Union nil. as the Soviet Union start the second half. The question is there. This is blocking. But from his point of view, a poor cross. Now, Francis. That's well done, but it's too long for Blissett. Peter Vichenko for the Soviet Union. Oh, and Dutchbury has slipped badly there. And Gotsmanov has put the Soviet Union into the lead. Sergei Gotsmanov, the scorer, after a bad slip by Mike Duxbury, consoled by Ray Wilkins. And after 53 minutes, the Soviet Union, from the type of through ball they've been exploiting so well, are in the lead. But Duxbury was favourite to collect that until he slipped, and Gotsmanov was in. Shilton began to come, but the finish was good. So, bad luck on Mike Duxbury. And on Mike Duxbury. And he...
Fennec is well forward in this attack. with him and two coming from midfield Chamberlain's cross well taken Rodionov Litovachenko with a chance but he spooned that shot off the outside of his foot of West Bromwich Albion who comes on for his second substitute appearance He's curled it against the post. The Soviet master of sport, who's played brilliantly across the world over the last ten years, Oleg Blokhin. Beautiful. And Blokhin on his left foot again. And the deflection for Oganesian offside. No goal. Blokhin again, the provider. And will be on shortly. Litovachenko. Sulak Balit. Mark Haitley. It's his first cap for international level. Samson. And in comes Haitley and immediately disturbs the composure of the goalkeeper. He fouled him as well, but uh, Dasayev's life is going to be made rather more tempestuous if we cough. by blocking and Alianikov that's going to be a goal kick but there was a lovely move there Samson's well forward here's Haitley and he got it down Rodionov and he's taken a stiff challenge tricky little player and they've got support here for him right and left and Fennec will have to cut this down as Blocking comes in and it misses across the goal. Comes to his left. Haitley far post, the cross might do. Oh. Bodies all over the place, but the ball safely in the arms of Dasayev. Well, if Wilkins and Haitley. Good power on the shot. Certainly tested the reactions of Dasayev and in fact bounced back off him. Roberts is stretched to reach him. Blocking did brilliantly. And Roberts brought him down. Replace him is number 13, Boris Potnikov from Spartak Moscow. League last season and indeed leading it again this season. And Wilkins, shooting shots here. Good compact goalkeeping, that. Uh, Wilkins shot. But if the ball had come back off Dasayev... We're in stoppage time. The Soviet Union lead 1-0. Protosov headed the ball on. And Blokhin is in here. Good save by Shilton. And the follow-up goes in by Protosov. Right at the end. Well, 2-0 now to the Soviet Union, their victory assured, Shilton disconsolate, and Protosov, who just came on as sub, makes certain. All the hard work win at Wembley for the first time in their history. And Haitley with Desaev. And... So England end their season in home matches with another defeat. The two coaches shake hands, but Bobby Robson knows that with 19 players missing, it's very difficult to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, especially when the Soviet team brought to Wembley.